cheated with his best girlfriend, why? Rant. I just wanted a space to vent my relief as this has been eating me when I know he has been mentally checked out. My ex and I were dating and had no clear issues, we were still in the honeymoon phase and had an active ex-life. Even till the day before, everything seemed okay. I saw him less than two days before and he didn't want me to go. He had a lot of female best friends, and I trusted him and said if he wanted to date them, he would have already and was the type of guy that was super committed and disciplined. I also have many male best friends, and I understood we needed a baseline of trust. He introduced me to all of his friends and brought me deep into his world, showing me off and all. We were about to take our first weekend trip together until he caught COVID. I dropped off homemade food and a care package because I was concerned. I was supposed to drop off more stuff that following weekend when he told me not to. I later find out it was because he met up with one of his girl best friends who was spiteful of me when she found out we were dating and was extremely jealous. She told him she couldn't be happy because she had feelings for him. Immediately, he decides he has feelings for her too and breaks up with me the next day because he no longer cares for me. All of a sudden, he was given options, and like a t-shirt, I was suddenly gone with no fighting chance. This has genuinely triggered and dropped my self-esteem and trust levels. He tried to lie about why we were breaking up without telling me about her, when we had not had any reason to because we were in the honeymoon phase. His lie about why we needed to break up was painful, saying he suddenly just lost feelings for me. Knowing him knew there was a catalyst, but I didn't know it was cheating. I felt like I was slapped in the face, and I felt so embarrassed for caring so deeply. I felt dumb for being so one-sided and being excited for our future. It hurts me that this girl that he cheated with, I had met, and she was not pleasant to me at all. She had sexually harassed me by inappropriately touching me and sized me up at a party. She was drunk so I shook it off. She also cried when she was drunk meeting me when I offered to help her, and I'm assuming because I was not an asshole and she knew what she was doing. The few things that bring me solace are that all my friends I met would always compliment my looks, and even strangers during dates would always remind him about how pretty I was. Not to toot my own horn, but I had never received so many compliments about my appearance until dating him. All my friends did not love him appearance-wise and told me I could do better. However, I enjoyed him and his personality so I did not focus on looks. Shallow, I know but it's the only thing I can keep for myself. The latter is I was genuine and kind to all of his friends I did meet, listening and learning about their hardships, to the point they never told him some things I knew, driving them home after a night out so they did not have to waste their money on Ubers, to even offering my sneakers to a girl in heels after a long day. I hate that I had to meet her, that she was never kind to me, and that she had so much jealousy towards me. I hate how easily I was shuffled out and how much I cared and was genuine. I hate that I introduced him to the things I love and care about in the city, and have to pray he will never touch those things again because I frequent them. I know he had a choice and I was never part of it when he told me his thought process. I had so much trust in him and he took profound advantage of it. I hate to say it, but I felt my self-esteem immediately drop upon knowing who it was. Other than they had already spent so much time together before me, I wish they had just dated then. Why was seeing me date him a catalyst for her to confess her feelings? I would not say she's conventionally a catch. I'd understand if she was genuine, kind, and prettier, but from my experience, it was not. I know he chose the easy route, the best friend was already deeply ingrained into his life due to grad school and proximity was always available, unlike myself, who was already working in the industry. We had some lifestyle differences because of what phases we were in our lives, and he would have had to adjust as I was to him. I never told him he had to change his lifestyle for me and could continue going out with his friends, as independence is a healthy balance. 
I did not realize the first weekend of independence after months would have been to cheat. I want to get over it, as he has already moved on and started seeing her despite it sounding like a recipe for disaster. I am sorry all, and I am just so emotionally wrecked by this all from how abrupt and harsh it was. Redditor's Comment Redditor 1 This whole situation says a lot about them, and about you too. Objectively to any outsider looking in, you have dodged two bullets here. It would never have worked out. You were with a taker, someone who did not appreciate what a gem he would find, and she would have always been a problem, as he was not the type to cut out someone toxic for the sake of a potentially excellent relationship. They are well suited to each other and will eventually hurt each other as no one else could. Keep facing forward, OP, do not look back. Moreover, do not let them change you. OP response. Thank you for this, it hurts to see it but it seems like I just got involved in something bigger than I thought. Redditor 2. It is his loss, and it's all on him. You dodged the bullet as he was weak in character to do what he did. Unfortunately, this happened, but life can be that way. Spent your time now on getting healthier and happier. Redditor 3. Block him because he will be back. I give it two weeks to a month before he sends out feelers. Slow at first, then ramping up. He is impulsive and always searching for that thrill. OP response. I hate hearing this because it's happened to plenty of others. Redditor 4. Definitely. Go completely no contact as he will either try you for a relationship again or try to make you into another one of his female friends aka an orbiter slash other option. Most likely apologizing, saying he regrets hurting you, then asking to be friends. If you are quiet and keep to yourself, he will likely return after the honeymoon phase in the new relationship wears off. Do not even respond to a simple greeting from a man that probably thinks he can get any girl back that he wants. Be the one that got away. Redditor 5. I would like to add that the people they cheat with are almost always less attractive, I think I am not sure if that makes it better or worse. Most likely, she will lose interest in him once she realizes she only wanted him when he was taken, probably some weird power thing in her part. I know it hurts because you were genuinely invested and let your guard down long enough for him to hurt you. I'll echo the other commenters and say that you will be grateful that you dodged such a massive turd bullet at some point. None of this means you are not beautiful, please do not let it be a blow to your self-esteem. You could be the gorgeous woman in the entire world, and to people like him, it does not matter, I promise you it has nothing to do with your looks, they are both just shit people. Stay strong and never lose confidence in yourself. Best of luck, OP. OP response. It blows my self-esteem as someone that wanted to care so much, but you are right, a choice is a choice and it was made regardless because of who they are on the inside. Redditor 6. I used to hear this too, and then I was betrayed and I realized it was true. They go for the easy girls with nothing going for them, and I do not say this out of spite. OP, I put up with stuff like female friends and weird looks for six years, married the man, and found out a year prior he went on a date and swiped apps for validation. He told me after it was clear I was done that he did not pick her for her looks, personality, achievements, respect or because he planned anything other than to feed his ego, he chose her to betray me because she was so overconfident and he wanted that external validation from someone who would believe he is this character he is trying to portray. He knew I knew the real him. Nevertheless, he openly said, people who are an insecure cheat and do not go for prettier or better, they go for easier for whatever it is they are after. He took me by giving so much and paying him attention as a given and as it would never stop, do not get me wrong, he still did things for me, but the right man will appreciate your efforts and not see them as weakness. Furthermore, OP, your ex likely realized you were too good for him and self-sabotaged. 
The right man will not have you doubting yourself like this. I only started to realize it after I left. Redditor 7. Mine did too. She never wanted to meet me but would complain that we were together so much. She used him for attention, and he let her because he liked it. For years I spent being told they were just friends and that I was insecure and controlling. For years of me feeling like I was being cheated on but had no proof, I only had his words that she was just a friend. He would say things like do I not want him to have any friends? For years of asking my friends if I was crazy and if it was as inappropriate as I felt it was. I got proof this year, I saw the XING, and was crushed. It did not feel good to be right all along. I wanted to wrong all those years, I guess. He cried to me and continued to say they were just friends after I saw it with my own eyes. I am no contact now but still having a hard time. I am angry at myself for not trusting that he sucks when their friendship blatantly crossed boundaries. I still think I made a mistake dumping him because he was so convincing that it was just something spiteful he did when we had arguments. Nevertheless, it is not my fault, every instance with her and every lie on my face was a choice. So now I have to move on without him. I think I am in the grief slash bargaining stage and waiting for it to pass. I will never go back to him, but I miss him. OP response. I understand exactly how you are feeling, that hard time and not being able to fully be upset because you still genuinely care for the person and miss whom they used to be, despite that not being who they are now. I hate that we both feel this way, but I hope we both can walk out of this eventually stronger with people who care. How do you guys feel about having friends of the opposite sex? Comment below, and I will see you at the next story.